All right, ladies, gents, and nuns, put on your thinking caps, because we're going to learn some fun facts with Discord. While later Egyptian society showed Set to be the bad guy, the original villain of the mythos was a creature called Apep, which Ra battled every night to be able to have sunrise. Also didn't function on belief like other gods, he fed off the Egyptians' fear of darkness. So basically, he's a Kingdom Hearts villain. Bees let out tiny little whooping noises when they're startled, or when they bump into each other. Oh, It's adorable. The 1983 hit song, Total Eclipse of the Heart by Bonnie Tyler, was originally written for a rock opera based on the silent film Nosferatu. I would have loved to have seen that rock opera. When an execution was required in any play from ancient Greece, the Greeks would bring an actual criminal and burn said criminal alive. Sometimes there would be a bear to speed things up. Because if the fire doesn't kill you, the bear will. Can you imagine? Dionysus basically went on a rager war and invaded India with a crew of drunken crazies and basically destroyed every city between Greece and India. And he saved a bunch of leopards, making them his sacred animal in exchange for the suffering they had to endure at the hands of humans. Dionysus really, really likes animals over people. And that's a fact. Want to know why St. Anthony of Padua is the patron saint of lost things? Well, he lost Book of Psalms that he was going to use to teach his students, and it was stolen. He prayed for it to be returned, and the thief was supposedly so moved that he returned the book. That's the most wholesome thing I've read all day. There is an electrical phenomenon known as St. Elmo's Fire. It appears most commonly on the tops of boat masts and on large metallic objects. It's named after St. Erasmus, Erasmus, Aramis, uh, I don't know, or St. Elmo, the patron saint of sailors, and it was seen as a good omen. I hope so. Usually lightning phenomenons freak me the fudge out. The term bug was first used by Thomas Edison back in the 1870s. However, the term was popularized in the 1940s when engineers found an actual moth stuck in the hardware of an early computer, causing a short circuit. Both the logbook in which the error was reported and the moth are now part of the Smithsonian Museum of American History. They have preserved a moth that has been electrocuted by a computer from the 40s. That's insane. When the planet Uranus, no, Uranus, was first discovered, proposed names include Herschel, Urania, and George. I declare this planet George. George, we're not doing that, but I wanna. Parts of a fingerprint can be so similar that it's possible for two fingerprints to be identified as the same fingerprint. The Mayfield case demonstrated this when an Oregonian man was arrested for planning a terrorist attack in Spain and his fingerprints just so happened to match the fingerprints of another man who happened to be in Spain at the time. God, can you imagine that kind of mess up? Like, uh, uh, uh he's got the same fingerprints as you, I'm so sorry. Ancient Persia had freezers that could keep ice cold even in the hot desert summers. On a side fun fact, Breath of the Wild does a reference to this. The Gerudos have a similar style freezer where they keep their ice so they can live in the desert. I just thought I would share that. Okay. Desert whiptail lizards reproduce by parthiogenesis, cloning yourself, and are all female species, but they still have to mate with each other in order to have the chemical reaction. To quote Jeff Goldblum, the life finds a way. The reason tomatoes were seen to be poisonous was because everyone ate on lead plates and the tomato will pull the lead out of the plates and poison the eater. God, that had to be a crappy way to die. And finally, the first woman to become a doctor in Athens had to pretend to be a man to get even accepted as women weren't allowed to practice medicine. Later, she became one of the most popular doctors, especially with women, unsurprisingly. And the petty doctors, unhappy with that, accused her of seducing the women. In front of the whole court, she showed off her boobs, saying, I'm not seducing your wives, gentlemen. They came to me because I actually treat them. This case led to women being allowed to study medicine in Athens afterwards. Now that is a real fun fact. I like that one. Well, thank you guys for listening, and I will see you all the next time around. Bye!